time now for your JCTV Daily News Update with the latest in news. ...to negotiations once international forces leave the country. Covering your local weather. If you were outside at all yesterday, you know that it was colder and windier than the North Sea in December. And the latest in Jimmy Athletics. Straight on, it's Peters hitting from 10 Peters. on a pull-up. For your JCTV Daily News Update, here's Matthew Neese. Good evening, I'm Matthew Neese with your JCTV News Update. The theater season at Jamestown College continues this week. Students will perform the Pulitzer Prize winning comedy by Mary Chase named Harvey in the Denault Auditorium Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Showtimes start at 7.30 p.m. each night. There are 12 cast members in Harvey, which is about an eccentric man and his imaginary rabbit friend. Tickets are free for students and $7 for those in the community. Tickets can be reserved by contacting the box office at 701-252-3467, extension 2435, or by sending an email to tickets at jc.edu. As many of you know, there was a terrible mining accident in West Virginia early last week. The accident was the worst mining accident in the United States since 1970. The disaster killed 29 miners, and some of the miners have not been yet recovered. According to the Associated Press, a team of federal investigators arrived in West Virginia today in order to figure out what caused the disaster. Authorities suspect that high levels of volatile methane gas may have played a role in the accident. The mining company, Massey Energy Company, has been repeatedly cited and fined for problems with their ventilation system in the mine where the accident took place. In the past, the ventilation system in the mine has allowed combustible dust to build up. After a cloudy and breezy day, we should see some scattered showers and thunderstorms this evening. Wind gusts are greater than 30 miles per hour, and we have a 50% chance of rain. Looking at our extended five-day forecast, tomorrow will be cloudy and breezy. We'll have about a 60% chance of receiving some rain. Tomorrow night, we'll have about an 80% chance of precipitation. Wednesday, there's a slight chance that we could see some more showers. It should be mostly cloudy with temperatures in the high 60s. Thursday should be partly sunny with a high near 61 degrees. We have a 20% chance of precipitation Thursday night. Friday should be partly cloudy with a high in the upper 50s. Saturday should be mostly sunny, but a little on the cool side with a high of about 58 degrees. The Jimmy baseball team had a four game home series against Dickinson State University this weekend. The Jimmys split the series with Dickinson, winning two of the four games they played. The Jimmys are currently five and three in the Dakota Athletic Conference and have a 22-6 overall record. They will put the record on the line on Wednesday when they take on Valley City State University in Valley City. The Jimmy softball team also took on Dickinson State University last weekend. Like the men, the women split their four-game series going 2-2. Two two. The women currently have a 4-2 record in the DAC and an overall record of 18 wins and 8 losses. The women have their next game on Thursday as they travel to Mayville State University. The Jimmy men's and women's track teams had a big weekend last week at the Bison Invitational. Among some of the outstanding performances, Scout Remick finished in second place in the 400 meter hurdles and was a half second away from qualifying for nationals. Josh Ewalt had an exceptional day as he won the men's decathlon. The Jimmy men's and women's 4x400 meter relay teams both took third place. Katie Conlon won the 3000 meter steeplechase. Conlon's teammate, Alyssa Bossler, also had a good day as she took first in the 1500 meter run and fifth in the 800 meter run. Another first place finisher for the women was Madeline Horning, who won the women's 3000 meter run. Sarah Skipper handily won the women's heptathlon. The track teams head to Sioux City, Iowa this weekend. The Jimmy men's and women's golf teams are currently in Rapid City, South Dakota, where they are finishing up the South Dakota School of Mines Invitational. In other golf-related news, Phil Mickelson received a green jacket this weekend, as does everyone who wins the Masters. Tiger Woods had a solid tournament, finishing in fourth place. The Masters is Tiger's first tournament in which he's participated in since his off-the-course troubles. This has been your JCTV News Update. I'm Matthew Neese, connecting the campus with the community. Have a great evening.